Episode of Retro Gaming Corner. Today we will be reviewing a homebrew game called This Planet Sucks by Pack Rat for the Atari 2600. Thank you, Jillian. We're back again, folks, after a long delay. I did a couple pickups videos in between. Um, this is an Atari 2600 game. We haven't done one in a while. Um, it's a homebrew game. I bought this years and years and years ago. I'm assuming you can probably still get this game on eBay. I don't know. It's kind of a take on the Lunar Lander game with some additional challenges. Uh, they did a great job replicating the box, as you can see here. And yes, it's a little inappropriate. Sucks. This planet sucks. But it's a one-player game. And um, it did come with the manual and an awesome clear cartridge, as you can see, which is inserted in our Atari 2600 uh, Darth Vader unit, the black unit. And it's a nice, colorful... Um, instruction booklet, some nice graphics on it. It's a fun game. It's a very, very hard game, very low scoring game. I'll show you in a minute, but um, camera will point it back to the screen and I'll read you a quick uh, introduction about the story. Uh, they desperately need you. You've been sent to save hundreds of stranded colonists from a planet colonization project gone very, very wrong. Not only is their destitute planet being bombarded by a horrific asteroid belt, but it's also under attack from an armada of deadly alien warships. Adding the bizarre gravity of the planet, a limited fuel supply, and the frenzy of the colonists. And you're in for quite the mission. I ain't, they ain't kidding. Uh, but don't let this discourage you because you are the colonists' only hope. Your mission is to save as many stranded colonists. Um, they're on the bottom there, a little platform. If you can see the one in the middle, I squashed. You can't land on them when you pick them up or you'll squash them like that. Um, but you see them on the left and right side, they're running back and forth with their hands up, help me! And they're on these little platforms, and your ship is up on top, and it goes back and forth. And when you're ready to deploy your little lander, lunar lander ship, you press your button on your Atari joystick, and then you have a limited amount of fuel, which is in the top center screen there. Currently it's at 94, and above that is your score um, for picking up various stranded citizens. And obviously you have to get through the little asteroid belt, make it down to the platform without squashing them and then they'll run into your little ship and then you gotta blast off and head back to the top while it's moving while the asteroids are moving while they're shooting at you in my opinion a very difficult game um, I dug this one out I haven't played this in years but it's a fun game I think it's a very well done homebrew um, you could probably still get this on eBay um, Possibly, I don't know if they're still making ROMs of this anymore. I don't know. But I bought this one a while. Long time back. I want to say 2005, maybe. Okay, so this planet sucks. Let me uh, be quiet and uh, grab the joystick and play. Cam, would you be so kind as to hit the reset in the right corner on the Atari 2600 for me? Okay. And here we go, folks. Round one. And let me turn this up just a little bit. Okay, and here we go. Here's my little ship. I'm going to press the button, deploy. And again, you have your fuel. You press your button, slow down. Oh, I'm ready. I got nailed. All right, let's try again. Let's try and deploy him where the less asteroids are, like right here. Drop as far as you can. Oh, Donnie. Oh, no, Donnie. Okay, sorry. Let's try it again. Let's deploy it. Come on now. Right there. Oh, and I just crushed that one. See what I mean? You know, it's kind of annoying because they move over to your ship sometimes too soon. Oh, and of course, if you hit too hard, you crash your ship too. So there are numerous ways to die in this game. Maybe, maybe too many. Deploy. Slow my retro thrusters. And of course, I'm at the wrong one, so I'm not going to fly over this way. Nice color graphics. Oh, get away from me. Oh. God, this game is hard. I forgot how hard this game was. All right, and I'm over already. Zero score, 62 left of fuel. Let's start again. Cam, would you mind? Okay. As you have a little snack with your cherries. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, round one again. Let's try again. Sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. Yep, we ran out of space. We're back. Okay, here we go again. Let's our second attempt here. Oh. All right, here's my little lander. Come on. Get out of the way. They keep running in my way. So annoying. Pretty soon it's going to be this game sucks. <laughs> Look at this. No, it, it, honestly, folks, it is a good game. It's just the learning curve, and it's a very difficult game. Oh, I crashed because I landed too hard. Deploy. Let's see if we can save at least one character. Deploy. Alright, now he's going to move in my way. What the? Try again. Cameron, hit reset. Oh, hit oh. the game select and left the button on the left. Hit that once. Mm -hmm. I All did. right, now, now hit it to the right. I think that was on hard level. Let's see. Launch. Deploy. Join a little support. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Daddy, I just crushed another one. Let's try this guy over here. All right. Yay. Okay, I got one in. Five, a whopping five points. Now I got to make it up to the ship. Safe. And they're shooting things. Safe? They shoot missiles at you. So I rescued him and then he died. Oh, and I crushed that guy and crashed. <laughs> so game is over, folks. I've got a whopping five points. Wow. One more try. Cameron, would you be so kind? <laughs> I wonder if there is a hard love mode. Do it again. Here we go again, folks. Bad place to deploy. Well, as Steve Benway would say, playing a game very badly. This is me playing a game very badly. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna run out of fuel, girls. Oh, this is kind of sad and pathetic. Again, Cameron, last time. Well, this game of you has. <laughs> Been quite interesting, hasn't it? Yes, it's very difficult. Oh, it's a very colorful, well-made game. The, I mean, the, the gameplay itself is spot on. It's just hard. It's too hard. There's too many things. Yeah, it's just too many factors. I don't think the asteroids or whatever those things are should shoot. And the guys, they move just at the last second. Watch. See, and then if you if you land without putting on your retro thrusters. Wow. Let me just see, folks, really quick if they have any simple gameplay variants. No, I think it's just the one level here. Yeah, um, so that's me playing it horribly. I'm sure if I practice and practice, I could probably get a little bit better than this. But it's a fun game. I do like it, but it's frustrating because it's so hard. Uh, again, this planet sucks. It's a homebrew game. I'm not sure if it's still available, but if not, check like eBay or whatever. Very nice box. Okay, let me show the box again. It's got that old retro look feel to it. And as you can see, the cartridge is clear. Cam, why don't you power it off and pop the cartridge out, or I'll power it off. Okay. So you can see the graphics on the front. And that's this plan that sucks. So, everyone will be back with another game review um, on the Atari 2600. And by the way, the Atari 2600 is one of my favorite systems to review for. And we haven't done one in a while on the 2600. So, we'll be back with another 2600 review very shortly. Until next week, thanks for watching Retro Gaming Corner, 
and Cammy. Also, thank you so much for getting us to 77 subscribers. Yes, folks, we really appreciate it. We're on a shoe, shoestring budget, and, you know, you guys make it possible, and we just enjoy doing these as a family and for our fellow friends out there. And hopefully, when we get to 100, we'll have a big celebration and thank everyone at 100 subscribers. All right, vote, comment, subscribe, and like. Till next time.